So I'd like to tie for you a little brown stone fly. Look, I have an advice is a two extra long. This is a size 16. The thread I'm going to use is brown. This is a, the size of the little brown stone flies I see around my area. I'm going to attach the thread and bring it to the back. Remove that. Little brown and little black stone flies will be hatching in the in about two weeks from now. For the body, I'm going to use brown super fine dubbing. This is a really easy fly. Get that on there pretty tight. I'm wrapping backwards first. And I need just a pinch more. There we go. For the wing, I'm going to take a grizzly hackle tip. This is a big fat one. And I pulled the hackles towards the bottom. I'm going to hold them all, and that's going to be our wing right there. And you want to get this concave side down. This is what you're going to tie in. You can pull that just a little bit. You don't want to pull too much because you're going to pull it right out very easily. I'm going to just trim the very back off. Trim away the excess in the front. And secure that. Now I'm going to take a grizzly hackle. I gave it the haircut already. I'm going to tie this in with the concave side to the shank. And we're going to wrap the hackle. Like I said, this is a very easy fly. You want to get a pretty full hackle on the front because that's what you're de depending on for your flotation, most of it. You want this to sit in the water, sit low in the water, but you also want it to be able to float. You don't want it sinking too quickly. Of course, you'll put floating on the wing and the body. And that hackle came right off for me. Wrap that head. Take the take the whip finisher.
put some head cement on the head and here we have a little brown stone fly hope that you learned something from this video hope you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions refer me to your friends and most of all I thank you very much for watching my videos